हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू ए न्यू लेक्चर ऑन इट इज़ अ कंटिन्यूएशन ऑफ द ओल्ड लेक्चर दैट इज एलिस टिश्यू होल्डिंग फोर्सेप्स इन माय लास्ट क्लास आई हैव एक्सप्लेन अबाउट द ऑब्सेट्रिक यूजेज ऑफ एलिस टिश्यू होल्डिंग फोर्सेप्स आई फोगोट टू एक्सप्लेन द गायनोकोलॉजिकल यूजेस सो आई थॉट आई विल जस्ट मेक ए स्मॉल वीडियो अबाउट गायनोकोलॉजिकल यूजेस ऑफ टिश्यू एलिस टिश्यू होल्डिंग फोर्सेप्स ऑल्सो सो बिफोर आई गो टू द गायनोकोलॉजिकल यूजेस आई थॉट आई जस्ट रिफ्रेश द स्टफ सो दैट इट बिकम्स ईजियर फॉर अस टू अंडरस्टैंड सो एलिस टिश्यू होल्डिंग फोर्सेप्स दिस एलिस टिश्यू होल्डिंग फोर्सेप्स इट हैज ए लॉक okay this lock helps to uh, helps in self uh, retaining uh, it helps in retaining and then it has two blades and these two blades are not opposing with each other and if you see the tip the tip has many serrations so it has a lock and it has two blades which are not opposing with each other and if you see the tip has serrations or to say it should be called as tooth it has many teeth we cannot say it has serrations but we can say it has it has many teeth at the tip okay so this uh, it has many teeth at the tip so what are the uses of alis tissue holding forceps in my last class i have explained about the uses of surgery and obstetrics i would just wanted to read them so this alis tissue holding forceps has tooth at the end so the so also has a result it is used to hold any type of tissue we can hold any type of tissue with this alis tissue holding forceps so in surgery it is used to hold any skin flaps or fascia or aponeurosis or bladder wall so it is used to hold skin flaps or fascia or aponeurosis or bladder wall then what is it you what is its use in obstetrics and gynecology in obstetrics mainly it is used to hold during So, so there are three surgeries which are important three things which are happening in obstetrics one in obstetrics we you we we do dilatation and evacuation two we do cesarean section and three we do normal delivery so what are the uses in each of them we will see in dilatation and curettage it is used to hold the lip of the anterior cervix because once we hold the lip of the anterior cervix then the uh, uterus can be visualized so then the cavity can be visualized so it is used to hold the tip of the uh, anterior lip of the cervix that is one and in the obstetrics that is in the normal delivery it is used to hold the apex of the episiotomy wounds all the episiotomy wounds it is used to hold the apex of the episiotomy wounds and also whenever there are perineal tears it is used to hold the tissues while suturing while you are suturing we use some forceps right we can use this alis forceps for holding the tissues while we are suturing even it is used to hold the torn end of sphincter during complete perineal tear and then in cesarean sections it is used to hold the margins of the uterus it is used to hold the margins and angles of the uterus in cesarean section so this is alis tissue holding forceps and these are the uses in obstetrics if you see normally uh, the margins of the uterus margins and angles of the uterus in cesarean section these are held most commonly by green ammeters forceps okay if this green ammeters forceps it is not available then we can use this alis forceps normally in cesarean section the uterine angles they are held by green ammeters forceps but if this green ammeters forceps is not ammeters sorry ammeters green ammeters green ammeters forceps if this is not available then we can use this alis tissue holding forceps now let us learn the uses of alis tissue holding forceps in gynecology So, what are the uses of Alice tissue holding forceps in gynecology? Okay. So, first, it is first in gynecology. It is used in colposcopy operation. So, in colposcopy operation, it is used to hold the vaginal margins. so it is used to hold the margins of vaginal flap, flaps so in colposcopy operation it is used to hold the margins of vaginal flaps and then uh, whenever we are repairing the abdominal wall during uh, repair of abdominal wall what is there in the abdominal wall there is peritoneum or rectus sheath so during repair of the abdominal wall it is used to hold the rectus sheath and the peritoneum beneath the rectus sheath so there is peritoneum so it is used to hold the rectus sheath and peritoneum okay then the third one if we have to do while doing abdominal hysterectomy while doing abdominal hysterectomy 
इट इज यूज टू होल्ड द मार्जिन ऑफ वेजाइना ओके ड्यूरिंग एबडामिनल हिस्सेरेक्टमी इट इज यूज टू होल्ड द मार्जिन ऑफ वेजाइना एंड देन वॉट आर द अदर यूजेस इट इट कैन बी यूज टू रिमूव द पॉलिप इट कैन बी यूज टू रिमूव द पॉलिप एंड इट इज ऑल्सो यूज टू टेक आउट टिश्यू इन वेज बायोप्सी सो इट कैन ऑल्सो बी यूज टू टेक आउट टिश्यू इन वेज बायोप्सी सो दीज आर द डिफरेंट यूजेस वेर वी कैन यूज these are the different sites where we can use this alice tissue holding forceps i think you guys have understood about alice tissue holding forceps so thank you guys for watching my lecture if you have any doubts please comment it in the comment section if you feel something is inadequate in this lecture even then comment it in the comment section thank you for watching my lecture thank you so this is alice tissue holding forceps so thank you